we define ourselves by our ocean around us, how we live, how we survive. And if that disappeared, it would be devastating. My name is Lourdes Isal, and I work as a researcher here at the Palau International Coral Reef Center. Today we are going to a very special place and we are going to count and identify corals. Palau is a collection of hundreds of islands, maybe 250, about 7 to 8 degrees north of the equator, southeast of the Philippines and north of Irian Jaya. There's about 27,000 people. We live very much off the land, and we've done so for many, many years. Okay, three, two, one, okay. Coral is really a plant and an animal. So the color that you see on the coral is a plant that uses sunlight. And then the coral animal is the part that builds the skeleton. The plant part and the animal part live in symbiosis, happily together. Coral reefs are important in so many different ways to so many different people, whether that be food, whether that be a source of income. It's a unique habitat with unique species that reefs throughout the world provide for, for everybody. The reefs of the world are in a decline. They've been on this decline for quite some time now. It's attributed to many different reasons, but climate change is the common enemy. To have no reefs would be heartbreaking. We would lose a very big part of our identity, our culture, um, and our way of life. Um, and I think Palau would cease to be Palau as we know now. We don't have big skyscrapers. We don't have these big landmarks. This is like our landmark. And when that's gone, it would not be Palau at all. But I think there is hope. Something seems to be magical here in Palau. The water has been identified to be very acidic and very high in temperature. The same conditions are what's predicted for the world's oceans in 50 years. And yet, you see vibrant corals. Many species of corals growing on top of each other. There is something to be learned from these places. Maybe it's something to do with the corals themselves. Maybe it's something to do with the environment. We're beginning to understand some factors, but this is a very big question for us. If we can unlock the mystery of Palau, could be what the future could look like for the world's coral reefs. There's still a lot to learn, but we know at least that for now, that's kind of a beacon in the darkness of this destruction of the coral reefs. 
we know that there's some corals that are doing pretty much okay and we need to replicate that elsewhere.